Don't you touch any of that stuff. Ma'am. This is my house. A small town Kansas newspaper and a local police department are at the heart of a case with implications for constitutional rights. The Marion County Record, a small weekly newspaper in Kansas, and its publisher, Eric Meyer, are suing local authorities after a raid of the paper's offices and the publisher's home last year. They argue the incident subjected the publication and its staff to unreasonable search and seizures in an attempt to silence them. Meyer blames the raid on his home for the death of his mother. Dreadful precedent that it might be setting for journalism in this country. I mean, the fact that it happens in a little weekly newspaper, uh, and maybe they think that they could go to a little weekly newspaper and get away with it and intimidate it. They didn't count on the fact that the little weekly newspaper has a backbone. The police seized the paper's computers, cell phones from reporters, and other sensitive documents. In total, the plaintiffs estimate they're looking at more than $10 million in damages. Meyer also claims the stress of the police's actions caused his 98-year-old mother to die of a heart attack a day later. He's seeking compensation for her funeral expenses and estate as well. There's a problem, though. The city's budget is less than $9 million. Meyer said the suit doesn't intend to bankrupt the city, but cited a duty to democracy and to countless news organizations nationwide to challenge such malicious and wanton violations. The former police chief, Gideon Cody, claimed the raid was in response to the newspaper's story about a local restaurant owner. The article uncovered the restauranter's past DUI conviction and proof of her driving in spite of a suspended license. Cody, who later resigned amid backlash from the raid, claimed he had probable cause to believe the paper and reporter engaged in identity theft and other crimes in covering the story. However, the plaintiffs contend the reporter did nothing illegal and say the search warrants were motivated by long-held grudges by local officials. Before his hire, the record looked into allegations of misconduct by Cody while he worked for the Kansas City Police Department. When the newspaper reached out to him for comment, he reportedly threatened to sue them. Meyer told NPR, Cody has reason not to like us. Cody's body cam during the raid was reportedly turned off while he looked through a reporter's file on the Kansas City investigation. That file contained confidential sources and alleged warnings of Cody's behavior at the KC Police Department. The suit says it seeks justice for intolerable violations of constitutional rights and to prevent the next crazed cop from threatening democracy, specifically mentioning Cody.